it was the choice of dress code that made the Northern Cape Premiercy red. You don't come here for, here for grandstanding. You come here to make sure that you understand that this is a legislature, a house with decorum, and you want to serve the people. That's why you stand in the elections. Precisely the platform the EFF claims to work for the poor and downtrodden. We know, knew as economic freedom fighters that the, the speaker, there will now be no speaker uh, out uh, in, in, in the house uh, and the speaker also will be elected. So therefore we had to address like that and to make that statement that we had come to work in this, in, in, in this legislature. In the Eastern Cape, the induction of the Premier led to a fiery DA response. You sir will have to answer to this house how you came to have 300, between 300 and 500,000 deposit your own personal bank account. In Mpumalanga, 30 MPLs were sworn in. The ANC retained its sizable majority, 80% of the seats. But the EFF, vastly outnumbered, was not phased. The DA has become the official opposition in the Free State. It follows COPE's dismal electoral results. 30 new members were sworn in today. In Julius Malema's home province, his EFF is the official opposition. The legislature is merging several departments and splitting several. Only three members of the previous cabinet have returned. In neighboring Mahikeng, the Red Berets are the official opposition, edging out the DA. 33 MPLs were also sworn in, in this politically turbulent province. The ANC enjoys 23 seats. We are definitely going to work with them, work with the Premier, in ensuring that um, the economic resources of Northwest stay here in the Northwest province. This is going to be a very challenging uh, fifth term for the Premier, needing to pick up all the uh, things that got broken in the past two decades, or, uh, where this province uh, was characterized by deep factional divisions. The DA is now the official opposition in the Eastern Seaboard. A bruising battle between the IFP and NFP has cost them votes. The ANC retained a comfortable majority. 80 MPLs were sworn in today.